So we heard about how clusters can be involved in innovation. It's about uh, regional branding and also about uh, how universities can play a role in cluster development. But let us now turn to our group of experts here in the studio. And first I will turn to Jorge from Greece. Um, give us a little bit of your experience about activities and objectives that you work with in your cluster initiatives in, in Greece, and particularly, of course, the Coralia okay. initiative. Uh, let me start by saying that uh, the cluster concept is not something new. Uh, in Greece, you probably are aware of the uh, Hippocrates cluster in life sciences in the island of Kos, or the Pythagoras cluster in science, or even the uh, Hypatia cluster in Alexandria, uh, 400 after uh, Christ. Uh, for the last 2,000 years, it was a little bit dormant. Mm -hmm. Today in Greece, uh, we have, of course, organic cluster, like in all regions and countries. Uh, as to give you an example, the maritime cluster or the shipping industry in Greece around the port of Piraeus uh, involves more than 1,000 enterprises. And this is generating today more than 5% of the uh, GDP in the country. Or you know probably, of course, uh, about Greece, the good weather and the nice beaches. We have a, a big touri tourist industry. And you probably are aware of the island of Mykonos, that is an, a perfect example of a cluster in the tourist sector. Uh, apart from those more traditional industries, now we have been trying in the last year to also involve the more knowledge intensive uh, industries. In those areas, we are trying to push for policy intervention. Now, as a cluster manager in those areas, the first thing that we did is to put a vision, and the vision for us is high. We want to, to be in some niche areas to be first in the world. Uh, also, uh, our vision in this uh, uh, respect uh, is to change the branding for Greece into a motto, uh, innovation made in Greece. In order to achieve that, we want as a first step to involve all the, uh, the cluster actors, all the stakeholders needed to mobilize an innovation ecosystem. And of course, we started with the triple helix. This is established now, it's working perfectly. And now we're involving all the other actors, media, uh, fi financial institutions, venture capitalists, business angels, etc., uh, uh, etc. Et so this is uh, a major uh, part of uh, the work that we do to involve everyone to mobilize everyone that can participate in that. Apart from that, now coming to the very specific uh, actions that we do, we do of course the research projects among all others, uh, but we also take specific actions for strategic directions that we want to tackle. For example, patenting was very low. We established an intellectual property rights health desk that managed to achieve in one year more than 150 percent increase in patenting. Another aspect that we are lacking in Greece is the lack of infrastructure. That's why we are building infrastructure and we are stretching the concept of clusters uh, so that we uh, concentrate the cluster members in, this, in a single building, in a single address, so that we increase the synergies. Uh, another uh, differentiation also of our initiative to the rest that I have seen is that we are doing international roadshows. And why is that? Because we have a big uh, diaspora, Greek diaspora around the world, that we try to attract the talent from there to come to repatriate to Greece. Uh, whatever we do, however, is based on building trust. Trust and professionalism. Mm -hmm. Delivering what we do on time, in budget, and with a quality that is better than we uh, originally promised. Mm. And you try to involve all the actors in the clusters, as I hear. Yes, Very yes, interesting. Yes. So let us turn to uh, Eivind and the experience from Norway. So what, in what areas, activities, objectives have you worked uh, inside your cluster? Uh, I'm representing uh, OREC, who's Oslo Renewable Energy Environment Cluster. It's a rather new uh, established cluster in the Oslo region. Uh, but we also, you know, have several others uh, where the country is so strong internationally. Uh, oil, uh, shipping fish, uh, to name th three uh, areas. Uh, but our cluster works uh, have the aim to uh, cont contribute, to accelerate uh, the speed of innovation and to give the uh, participant commercial possibilities. We are part of the solution to, to meet the, the climate uh, challenge, uh, to put it that way. Uh, we work with uh, renewable on a broad basis. Uh, 
uh, with hydrogen, uh, wind, water, uh, and so on. Uh, but most of all, we would with an interdisciplinary uh, approach to create innovations and new energy uh, solutions uh, who has uh, the possibility to, to have important uh, positions uh, in the market worldwide. Uh, and our aim is to be one of the, the best uh, clusters in renewable energy in Europe. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, the leading players uh, in Norway with us. Startcraft, for instance, is the largest uh, renewable energy company in Europe. We have uh, companies uh, from in universities, uh, research institutions, uh, and al also uh, collaborating with the municipalities and the counties uh, in the greater Oslo region. Uh, but uh, we want to focus on innovation through uh, collaboration, mm -hmm. um, building competence, which the company says is one of the major challenges uh, to, to further growth and internationalization, networking, arranging uh, large international conferences, uh, and also uh, national and international uh, profiling. One of the examples with I, which I want to, to um, uh, who, who could illustrate the way we work is a rather new uh, energy park, uh, Arcus Energy Park, who is now being built these days. Uh, and and uh, it was originally uh, uh, just uh, a park, uh, district uh, heating. Uh, now it's an innovation park. We managed to get a collaboration between uh, universities, industry, mm. research institutions. So now it's uh, based on uh, 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 a combination of uh, solar, on uh, things uh, related to, uh, to uh, wood chips, biowall, landfill gas, hydrogen, uh, and maybe also uh, geothermal in the same energy park. And this is uh, the idea is to uh, use this also as test uh, labs uh, to create this uh, collaboration between different institutions and also to, to, uh, for technolo uh, technology development, entrepreneurships, uh, ent entrepreneurship, and we also uh, focus on how could we institutionalize this, not only to be, you know, coming together, but working several years ahead mm -hmm. to use this energy park uh, as an arena for technology development, for education, for research, to accelerate the innovation uh, okay. development uh, in, within the cluster. Yeah. Even you said, very interesting, innovation through collaboration. Is this something that you also work with in the Värmland region? Oh yes, and, and uh, listening to Mr. Williams and, and, and my colleagues here, I, I hear that, that we're talking a little a lot about uh, uh, the collaboration, uh, the, the trust building, uh, the, the long-term uh, work to, to have people gathering together and, and, and it's a social pr process. Mm -hmm. So what we are uh, actually finding is that uh, uh, trying to build this, this collaboration, th this trust among the partners, but also, as, as I even said, uh, to have uh, a common asset that, like this, this innovative platform, th this, uh, this innovative park, uh, some innovative uh, environments for the, the companies, the students and the researchers to, to come together and make things together with. So, so our experience uh, in, in the northern mid-Sweden is, is that it takes a lo long time, it takes trust, and you have to have learning processes where the people learn from each other and, 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 and coming together. 